How's it? IndianCowboyDocSports.com coming at you here on Thursday, November 21st as we get this video to you. Have your free pick winner in just a second here. I think after we went, we did really well in the video yesterday. We missed our free play, um, but uh, I think we won most everything else. I could be wrong, something like 6-2. and two. I'll go back and I'll check, but uh, pretty decent back-to-back -back videos lately, although we did miss on the 76ers. Even after they had a team meeting, they still ended up losing unbelievable um we won so many of our other selections that we gave out to you so hopefully we'll try to bounce back here and get you a nice free play winner today hello i'm indian cowboy this is doc sports indian cowboy has been around for a cool 19 years in doc sports 53 years i have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics that's how these algorithms work welcome to my free daily podcast our best selections are over at docsport.com under rune shiva our next best selection are free picks and leans which is the daily video that you're watching right now we have a popular youtube premium teaching channel uh, where, I, where I try to do a video every single day, and I'll have a video for you tonight. And uh, that video is going to be coming at you around 9 Eastern, 9 Eastern tonight, somewhere between 9 and 9.30, okay? That video comes to you. Um, we will have it tonight. It'll have a lot of football content. Excited to get you that content. And, uh, you know, it's it's pretty awesome deal. Um, you get a massive, it's a massive advantage because you get the research the night before. Um, you get the research for anybody else. Uh, you get the best lines, and you get about 240 games offered just $20 a month. It is a recorded podcast. You can re-listen to it anytime, and you get a written summary at the end uh, as well. And some of those turn out to be premium selections the next day. Just a fantastic value. The link to YouTube Premium is in the comments section, as well as the link to how to get to free $60 of the premium selections. If you want more content, be sure to check out my Twitter. It has my latest updates, hot takes on sports, and our latest videos are posted there. All right, let's get to your, uh, let's see here. Let's get to your free pick winner today. It is between Syracuse and Texas in college basketball. A total of nine free selections today. But right before I tell you what's up in our neck of the woods, we have a seven-unit college basketball selection today, which goes off early at 9 o'clock. Uh, we do come off five or four straight college basketball winners. We won once again yesterday as, uh, you know, we gave you Norfolk State out of all the teams that we could have chose from. We gave you Norfolk State plus the 18.5 over Stanford. We had them losing by single digits, and they lost by seven. So that was a great call. Stanford has a new coach. They, I, I don't think they had missed a spread uh, up until the fifth game, and we went against them, and that was the right call. So 4-0 run in college basketball for plus 1,600. We're going to try to make that 5-0 today. And a seven-unit college basketball, we're going to try to do a little bit of style. So 12-5 and to start the season, 71% of college basketball for plus 3,400. Plus 3,400, this will put us at plus 4,100. I will be joining us for the football card. We're expecting a great football card. Uh, we're trying to bounce back from last week's two and three. I think we're going to do really well. We did go five and zero oh three weeks ago, so I don't know why we can't do that again. Uh, four unit selection in the NBA between Toronto and Minnesota. Love it. Can't wait for it. Uh, four unit selection between Ottawa and Vegas today. Love that one too. Uh, four unit soccer selection this afternoon. Uh, or, I'm sorry, this evening tonight at eight o'clock. Hope you join us for that. Next MMA card, MMA season now is plus twenty four hundred, and the daily props sit at nineteen and nine for plus thirty four hundred. We gave Giannis Antetokounmpo yesterday over the thirty one points, as we thought that uh, after that big Rockets win and that Rockets defense was perfectly suited for the next game, and he had forty points in his last game, so that was a great win for us. And uh, we are looking to the idea of maybe doing a daily prop season package, but that'll only be up. It's off the grid. You got to contact Doc Sports specially for that. I am working on that deal for you to see if we can do something special for you there uh, because we do try to have a prop for you every day. And uh, that's obviously a great ROI as well. It's a great ROI, another uh, field for you to increase your ROI in your portfolio. All right, let's get your free play winner today, and it is on Syracuse and Texas. Man, I like Texas today against Syracuse. I know it's a lot of points. I should have gone with the... I should have laid the I should have laid the wood yesterday with the Houston Rockets against Indiana. I didn't do it, and I took the points with uh, Philadelphia. But uh, we'll try to learn from that today. And I like Texas today in college basketball. I think Texas wins by 15 today. Look, man, Texas needs to blow out Syracuse, and Texas needs this game much more than Syracuse needs this game. And I like Texas minus the 10 and a half today, and I think they win by 13 to 15 points. Remember, Texas is three and one. All three wins are against teams outside the top 300. They need a quality win. They don't have a quality win. And Syracuse rolls in this game undefeated, right? Texas lost to Ohio State early this year. And uh, Syracuse's only win is against top 200 Youngstown State, okay? Uh, Texas is ranked number 19 in the land, and they need this game. And Syracuse struggled against Youngstown State, and none of their wins are quality either. And I think this is an opportunity for Texas to win and to win big because they need to win big, okay? 
Texas did have, again, they have not, they don't have one quality win to their record outside of the loss to Ohio State. And they know that. They know that this is a team in the ACC as well. They need to win and win by a wide margin today. And I like Tejas today, uh, minus the 10 today. Uh, as far as your other leans today, Orlando and the Lakers. I like the Magic today. The Magic, you know, so bad in their last game against the Clippers. So bad. There was the first game in the last, they see they had won five in a row before that. And it was the first game in seven games that given up over 100 points. All right. The only problem here is that they already beat the Lakers this year. The Lakers are going to be ticked off and they want some revenge. But the Lakers beat the Jazz by six. Orlando coming off a bad loss. I can see the Magic hanging around all game today. And the Lakers needed 37 from Connect to win that game against the Jazz. And uh, that was our free play, if you remember. I like Orlando plus the points. I think Orlando hangs around all game. Utah and San Antonio, I like the Jazz here. I know it doesn't make sense here because the Jazz just beat the Spurs, and I know the Spurs have huge revenge, and they play great against Oklahoma City in the NBA Cup yesterday, and they come off a huge win. But I think they have a letdown, and I think Utah is starting to play a little bit better. By the way, if you're looking for a prop, take Filipowski over the point total. He only had three points in his last game, and he's going to bounce back here for at least 10 points, I think, Uh, at least 9 to 10 points. But... Even though San Antonio has revenge, I think they have a letdown. Utah's playing really well right now, and I like Utah Jazz today. Tennessee and Virginia in college basketball. Uh, I like I like Tennessee. I mean, anytime I get Tennessee on the road against a, a top another top 50 team, I, I think it's decent to take them. I made that mistake once against Louisville, and I won't make it again. Tennessee won by 22 against Louisville. Virginia beat Villanova by 10 points. Tennessee is not going to take Virginia lightly, a school that beat Villanova. Villanova, Virginia is also an ACC team. Tennessee is going to want to assert its dominance. And Tennessee is a top five defensive team and a top five uh, effective field goal percentage team. Give me the volunteers. Vanderbilt, Nevada, I'm going to take a huge public play, and I'm going to accept it and take Nevada. I've been on the Vanderbilt train all year, but can the new coach of Vanderbilt really go into Nevada and post a win on their first true road game? Both these teams are top 40 teams. Steve Alford's team of Nevada beat Washington, Santa Clara by 26, and Sam Houston State, all good teams. I know Vanderbilt did well against California. That was one of my top plays. Uh, but I think Nevada is going to be too good here. Small lean on Nevada. Radford and Clemson in college basketball. I like Radford here. Four and one and three and one teams hooking up. Darius Nichols, the coach here, senior laden team here in Radford. Could be a solid dog here against Clemson. Could go either way, but Clemson's off a bad loss to Boise State, and I get that. They could come out really upset, and I get that too. But on a total of 145 and a half with a good coach and Coach Nichols and a senior laden team in Radford, I'll take the points here. Uh, you know, on the 145 and a half, that's a pretty low scoring game. And I'll take the points. I like Radford, Texas A&M Commerce versus Oklahoma. What a cool name. I like Texas A&M Commerce. Who doesn't like Commerce? One and four and three, no teams looking up here. Back to back 13 win team is Texas A&M Commerce. Coach Rosenberg, bad loss to Iowa. Tough games against A&M and Connecticut. They played the best, the brightest A&M Commerce. They're not going to be intimidated by Oklahoma after playing Connecticut and do playing pretty well, losing by 30, but that's not bad. Oklahoma is 3-0, but they haven't been playing that great, honestly. And Oklahoma has Providence on deck. Texas A&M Commerce could give Oklahoma a little bit of a trouble today. And I would take, uh, I actually would, I wouldn't mind taking, uh, going against Oklahoma. I like Texas A&M Commerce plus the 25. But do I like them more than Texas being desperate? No, I don't like them more than that. I'm going to go with the better team in Texas. Uh, But I like Texas A&M Commerce a decent amount, actually. Pittsburgh and Cleveland in the NFL. What a wild game. I like the under- I think this is a terrible game to choose from, to be honest with you. Why is Pittsburgh only a three and a half point underdog as an eight and two favorite as an eight and two team against a two and eight team, the inverse of itself and only a three and a half point dog after they come off a win against the Ravens and uh, just fascinating. But, you know, Winston did throw for nearly 400 yards in his last game and two touchdowns, but they lost to the Saints to my curmudgeon feelings about that. But you know, I like the under here. I think Cleveland, you know, I think they play fantastic defense today. I think Pittsburgh has a bit of a letdown after that huge win against the Ravens. Cleveland did beat the Ravens at home. Small lean on the under. I can't take Pittsburgh as a huge 77 public favorite. I can't take Cleveland either and go against Pittsburgh. I'm going to take the under as my lean. Finally, Detroit and Charlotte in the NBA. I like Detroit here. Charlotte already beat this team by one early this year. Detroit lost by 10 to the Bulls. Charlotte is off back-to-back. Um... You know, Charlotte's off uh, back-to-back losses, which makes me sad. Uh, but they And they played great against Brooklyn. They just lost by one. I think the Pistons off of a loss and revenge sort of make the difference here. Give me the Pistons today. That's what I have for you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. For eight free selections, it took me nearly 10 minutes. Jesus Christ. No, nine free selections. 
Uh, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Hope you guys are doing well. Please take a moment to like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Indian Cowboy working hard for you every single day. Seven unit college basketball today at seven o'clock. We try to go for five straight winners. Football card comes out today. Love the NBA, love the hockey, love the soccer, all of that. So join us for all that. Take care. Bye bye.